And what's cracking YouTube, man? It's your boy Jabari J. I'm back in with another video. And today I'm gonna be talking about three reasons why people choose to join the military. Now, before we get started, all right, this, this video ain't meant to offend nobody, all right? These are real responses from real soldiers that I asked real questions to, you know? And then this is the stuff that I've seen while being, you know, on active duty. So this is the real experience. And these are real honest answers on why people join the military. All right, so let's get on into it. All right, reason number one is the money. All right, a lot of us are broke, okay? From a recent college graduate's perspective, all right? We spend four, five, maybe some, maybe even sometimes six years working on these degrees from these prestigious universities, accumulating a lot of student loan debt. All right, just to go out into the workforce to be denied a job because we don't have experience. Okay, so, you know, you may have kids that you gotta support, you got an apartment that you gotta pay for, bills, et cetera, et cetera. So what do you do? You don't wanna continue to work at the job that you were previously working at to push you through college. You know, as, as, a, as a college graduate, you kinda wanna boss your life up. So what do you do? You enlist in, into, the, uh, into the military. And um, a consistent paycheck every 1st and 15th of each month. It's not a bad gig. Uh, benefits, health care, you know. So that is one of the biggest reasons so far that I've seen why people join the military. All right. The number two reason of why people join the military is because they don't know exactly what they want to do with themselves. Now, particularly, I see this between the ages of 17 through 19, maybe even sometimes 20. Um, you know, a recent graduate of high school or somebody who stuck around maybe two years after high school just working around. Um, however, they're probably receiving a push from their mom and their dad or, 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 or uh, excuse me, or whoever they're living with that like, hey, you, you kind of gotta, you gotta go somewhere and do something with yourself, you know. Um, they know they don't wanna go to college or they tried college and you know, it wasn't their thing and they, they don't want to remain at the crib with their folks. So the military is kind of like all they have, you know what I'm saying? So that's what, that's what I've seen um, discussing with, uh, talking with the soldiers and all, and just seeing from myself and a lot of my peers from my, from my high school and college. So. All right, number three, my third reason on why people join the military is because they are most likely a legacy. Um, like me, you know, my father served. You know, in your case, your mama probably served, daddy served, uncle served, auntie served, grandma served, granddaddy served, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, a lot of us growing up, we see our daddies or whoever we look up to come back from deployment, and we just, you know, we're just, you know, that, that's who we look up to. We probably came out the womb with boots on. You feel me? So, you know, growing up, that's just how we were. You know, we were bred. We always lived on bases. You know, when I was younger, I used to love being on base, you know, and look at me, active duty, right? So, yeah, a lot of us are really influenced by our family tree. And we've always knew we were going to serve or, yeah, we knew we were going to serve when we was, when we was children. And uh, now here we are. So yeah, I'm gonna cut the video short right here. I hope you found it somewhat entertaining, somewhat informative. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, family, all of that. And um, yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next one.